standing up, you can throw your body like a, this, okay? So it's like having a long rope and a short rope. If you take a short rope, it's like a bull whip that's short. It's going to be fast and quick and it's going to go. But if it's a little longer, it's going to go. It's a different technique. It's a different sound. For example, watch this. Now if I just take my sleeve up a bit closer, just, if I do this standing out, my whip is a different length. Okay, so I go like this. I got more of this, but if I'm sitting down, okay, I, it's better for stuff like this. that's going past here. So it's like a short stick, like a kung fu, the short staff and the long staff. The short staff is quicker and snappier and harder. The long staff is more resilient and it's got more pliability and it's got more length and both are good. Okay, but if you want dexterity, the short staff is better. And if you want long sound, the long staff is better. Where did you learn how to play? You want to see, you want to have me tell the honest God the truth all my life. I've been trying to figure things out. And one day I was asking, I was in prayer, and I thought if I could wish for anything in the world, ask God for anything, what would it be? I said, well, I'd want God to show me how to hold my bow and how to play the violin. That's what I'd want, you know? And then I had a dream of Jesus playing the violin, and he was holding the violin like that. And I could see him in a white gown, and he was up there, and there was a black surface. And everything that he was doing, it seemed like every muscle was being used a little, but not one muscle was being used a lot. There was no exaggeration. And every time that he would do staccatos and things like that, but the bow was whipping so fast, it's like he was using bow strokes that were so long, he would be doing fast things like yeah, da 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 and it was complete bows, like yeah, it's, it's impossible to do what he was doing, right? Because it, you'd have to be so fast. But he was doing it without, and it seemed like he was jiggling and wiggling and everything was wiggling and jiggling all over the place. And the notes, they were coming out when he did a fast run, it was just like a zipper. <laughs> Holy Jesus Christ, it was impossible, you know, but it went right into my ear, like not, I wasn't hearing it from the room like sound, it was in my head, okay, so when you hear something in your head, it can be as fast as you want, and it was so clear and articulate because it wasn't going through sound, it was going straight into my brain, and it just happened for about five seconds, and after that, that's what I followed as a model for the rest of my life. I've been following it ever since and I never turned back. Before that, I kept on saying, I wonder if that's right, I wonder if that's right. I wonder if I should hold the ball like this, hold the ball like that, 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 hold the ball like that. Or I tried every different way. And then when I saw Jesus do it, I said, well, that's the way I'm going to try it for all, forever. And I found that just by doing that, I keep on discovering new ways, okay, of the same vulgar. For example, if I'm holding it like this, I can use this, and that's like a, a dolphin flopping his fin, or like a boat that's going like that through the water. You know what I mean? Okay? Because I can turn the frog this way and that way, and it's mostly the wrist that's doing that. And then there's this. See? And that's like whipping it up like this and throwing it that way and bringing it down and throwing it that way. There's like a thousand different variations. Just holding, you can hold it like this. I've been using my third finger, like, because I thought, why is this hand out? It was covered right over. I could never figure it out. I thought, did he have the bow this far? 
or didn't have a dock bar and he might have had it at different places in different ways. But the one thing that was always for sure is that the fingers were always touching. There was never any space between the fingers. He never did this one time. Okay, everything was always touching. So I thought, okay, I'm gonna try to discover how every possible way can be done. I say, you figure this, everything's always done like that. But now you got flip side called different techniques. And then I saw Heifetz playing, and I realized that he was doing the same darn thing. Okay? I thought I wonder if he had the same vision. Is that he's still here? Yes, that is here. There. So anyway, that's what I want now. Before we tie off, I just want to do one little tiny piece that you probably love very much. And it's Danny's favorite piece. I might not be able to make it all the way through, but I want to do it for Danny because I love it. <laughs>